Hi guys, this is Tammy with Therapy Talk with Tammy and Pauline. Today I'm going to bring you something very artistic, very cool, and you're going to learn a little bit about Van Gogh, Vincent Van Gogh. Chances are, if you've been on social media at all, you have been seeing posts and videos on the Van Gogh experience. I just had to check it out. So here I am at the Van Gogh experience. So let me tell you a little bit about Vincent Van Gogh. He was born the 30th of March, 1853, and he died July 29th, 1890. Van Gogh was a Dutch post impressionist. Can I say that word? Impressionist painter. And he was born in the Netherlands. Side note, fun fact about Tammy is Van Gogh has always been an artist that I've appreciated. I think it might have something to do with the fact I grew up in a Dutch community. I loved art classes, so he was one of the artists that we always appreciated and studied a little bit more than others, it feels like. Anyway, Van Gogh has been known to be one of the most famous and influential figures in the Western art history. So it is no surprise that they came up with the 360 degree Van Gogh experience. You guys, this thing is amazing. Something I did not know is that he had around 2,100 pieces of artwork, you guys. That is a lot of paint. But those pieces included about only 860 oil paintings only 860 his work included landscapes still lifes portraits and even self-portraits his artwork includes bright bold colors as you can see here and he was very dramatic and very expressive with his brush strokes In doing my research for this video, I found that the Van Gogh was born into an upper middle class family. He liked to draw, his personality was serious, and he was also quiet and thoughtful. Later on, he worked as an art dealer, but then he became depressed after he was transferred to London. Later on, he turned to religion and he spent time as a Protestant missionary in Belgium. I also didn't know that. Did you? Now, since this is a mental health channel, let's talk about his mental health. As I said before, he became depressed after a job transfer. It was during this time that he became more isolated. Now, if you've spent any time on our channel at all, and please tell me you have, if you haven't, go back and check out our amazing work. Pauline and I are two licensed mental health therapists and we bring you lots of mental health content. Pauline and I often chat about our concerns when people isolate. According to National Library of Medicine, they state that there is research that has shown that persistent social isolation is a predictor of cardiovascular problems, mental health disorders, and increased mortality rates. So back to Van Gogh, he was feeling isolated. At this time of his life, he was living with his parents and his younger brother financially supported him. Van Gogh was known to have suffered from psychotic episodes and delusions. It's documented he worried about his mental stability, but also he neglected his physical health. He did not eat healthy, he drank a lot. Later, he had a friendship with a buddy that ended with a confrontation with a razor. He actually slit off part of his own left ear. 
After that, he spent time in psychiatric hospitals. Sad to say, his depression didn't improve. And July 27th, 1890, Van Gogh is believed to have shot himself in the chest with a revolver. And he died from those injuries two days later. Van Gogh was commercially unsuccessful during his lifetime, and he was labeled a madman and a failure. After his death, people stated he was just misunderstood and he was a genius with a troubled personality. Now today, Van Gogh's works are among the world's most expensive paintings to have ever sold. I mean, just look at the detail and the color. That's so beautiful. So let's talk about the actual Van Gogh experience, which is what you're looking at now. It's around 100 projectors. It takes around an hour long and you will get a 360 degree view. As the title says, it's totally immersive. His paintings literally come alive in front of you literally and it doesn't matter where you sit you have the best seat In this video, you get about 11 minutes of this experience. But you guys, if you can, I would definitely check this out as this is, like I said earlier, about an hour long experience. It is amazing. But don't just take my word for it. Go check it out. Chances are it is in a city near you.
but there is the Van Gogh experience. Um, when you leave, um, depending on the package that you buy, they will give you a Van Gogh poster, and um, in the middle of that is a sunflower. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, a couple things that I didn't mention that I want to mention now is that when we got there, we had to have a mask on, which at that time it was is very normal. That was before the CDC lightened up um, the restrictions. But they also made us show a vaccination card. So if you are not vaccinated, I would call ahead of time to see if it's something that you could go in. Um, we had ours, and it was the first time ever that I have been um, asked to show the card, which was not a big deal because I had it with me. But um, for some people, I know that could be an issue. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting our channel where we're everything in and around mental health, travel vlogs, and stuff like this. So we hope that you find this information helpful and entertaining. And as always, keep watching and keep supporting mental health. Without, We cannot do this without you. We need you to help us support and um, destigmatize mental health. If you found this enjoyable, hit the like, subscribe button. And if you have went yourself, why don't you tell me a little bit about your experience? What was your favorite painting or favorite part of the Van Gogh experience? I would be really interested in hearing about that. Anyway, thanks for now. We'll see you later. Bye.